I was walking along this trail through the forest and I saw a chimpanzee hunched over a termite mound. And so I was looking through the vegetation with my binoculars and I recognized this as the one chimpanzee who'd begun to lose his fear before the others. And he was very distinctive. You know, every chimpanzee looks different once you get used to chimpanzee faces. And he was easy because he had this beautiful white beard and I had already named him David Greybeard. And as I watched through my binoculars, I saw him reach out, pick a piece of grass stem, push it down into the termite mound, leave it for a moment, pull it out, and pick off the termites that were clinging on with their mandibles. And that was unbelievably exciting back then. He was using and making tools. And at that time, it was thought that humans and only humans used and made tools. We were defined as man the toolmaker. And so I could hardly believe what I'd seen. And I didn't immediately send a telegram to Lewis Leakey because I felt I'd better see it again. Maybe I dreamt it. It's too exciting. Uh, so I then saw David Greybeard and another about two days later, doing the same thing. Okay, it was real. And that meant sending somebody into Kigoma on the boat, which took a long time, but I sent off this telegram to Lewis Leakey. And I'll never forget his reply coming back, I don't know, maybe a week later saying, well, now we shall have to redefine man, redefine tool, or accept chimpanzees as humans. <laughs> 